With us tonight for Local 4 News at 6, it's an error someone made 25 years ago. And it came back to haunt a 71-year-old Inkster woman. A warrant for child molestation was issued in this grandmother's name way back in 1991. And nearly a quarter century later, she's arrested, jailed for four days, and charged with a crime that she didn't commit. Guy Gordon joins us now. Guy, uh, all of this happened years after they charged and tried someone else for the same crime. Oh, Devin, this, according to this uh, lawsuit, this is a warrant that should have been spiked years ago. Instead, she ends up spending four days here. Uh, Lula goes to the uh, a, a, an office seeking public assistance. She needs help with the utility bill. They tell her, no, you've got a felony arrest warrant out for you. We can't help you. So she goes to Michigan State Police thinking it's something that can get cleared up pretty easily. And instead, she begins a long ordeal. They were in a check. Next thing you know, I had handcuffs on me. I was just so scared. I, could, I just could not believe all of this was happening to me. That was on a Friday. She also spent Saturday, Sunday, and part of Monday in custody at the Mound Road Women's Detention Facility with as many as eight women in her cell. Women who mocked her, called her grandma, and did their best to make her uncomfortable. They began telling me about what they do with their sex life, things I'd never heard of. The old warrant says she fondled a four-year-old girl at a Detroit church, a warrant her attorney says was bad to begin with, no probable cause. Where she has no relationship with the alleged crime, the victims, the location, or anything. At her arraignment, this volunteer foster grandparent was told she could have no contact with any children at all, including her own 11 grandkids. I was tremendously hurt. I, I see my kids and I, we, are ha we have good relationships. So why was it she arrested 25 years ago? Because the case was essentially closed. Investigators quickly learned back in 1991, it wasn't Lula Pearl Clark of Inkster they wanted. It was Lula, different spelling, Wallace Clark of Detroit, who was arrested, tried, and finally acquitted. The same officer issued both warrants, the one for my client and the one for the actual suspect. So that same person you would think would have recognized that error and recalled the warrant against my client. That never happened. I believe somebody in the system didn't do their job. That wasn't an honest mistake. Mrs. Clark is suing the city. DPD not commenting because of this pending litigation. She has named the city and the two officers that wrote the original warrant as defendants in this, seeking unspecified damages and something she hasn't received yet. An apology. We're live from Detroit's East Side. I'm Guy Gordon. Oh my God. How, how, back to you. how long did it take to discover this mistake? Way, way too long, Devin. First of all, they had to dig for four days to even find it. It was a computer file, and again, it was deep in the archives. You can understand that. But when they got it to the magistrate, they didn't dig deeply enough into it to see that something was fishy. Oh. They could have caught the mistake then. Instead, three weeks later, her attorney catches it, and by then, she's had three weeks without her grandchildren, uh, she, you know, pondering 15 years in prison and also this cloud of suspicion. That's a lot. Sure is. All right, Guy Gordon reporting for us live from the east side. Thanks, Guy.